Hey fellow humans, how are you guys doing today? Today, uh, we're continuing the second episode of It Moves. We're gonna check out how it goes. Uh, the first episode I got massive amounts of chills from this game. Uh, it was super bizarre. Uh, and so today we're gonna continue the second part. Oh. Hello, Satan. The door is firmly shut. Alright, that's good to know. The banner on the long pole, it's too old and torn to make out the details. A huge skull. A banner on a long pole, it's too old and torn to make out the details. Oh great, alright, so... Yeah, this is where we last left off. Um, Satan has been blessed, blessed us with massive amounts of nightmares like completely massive amounts and okay your eyes are blinking now uh been in a long pole i think everything's still the same are you blinking faster oh now you're blinking faster And now you're blinking twice as fast, right? Um... Pardon? Oh god, we are in a... A picture of some kind of green landscape, which is too bad in too bad of shape to make out any details. So that leads over here. What is this? I can't move past these things. I'm doing something there, but...
there, buddy. I'm gonna just leave you to that. All right. Just stay over there. I ain't got no beef with you. I have no quarrel. the one that opened up was the one with he was at. No. It's actually the one around him, actually. Right? Yeah, we're going around. Okay. Hi, you're moving. How certain uh, it's funny how certain words can remain hidden from your mind no matter how blatant and obvious they are. One word came to me that night, lying in the darkness alone and frightened the wear of a rotten change in the atmosphere, a thickening in the air as, as if something had displaced it. As I heard the first casual explosion of the bed sheets below, the first anxious, the first anxious increase in my heart. The realization that something was once again in the bottom of that, that word. Excuse me. A word which had been sent into exile filtered through my conscience. Breaking free of all repression, grasping for air screaming. Itching. And carving itself onto my thought came to me, I noticed that they knew that my unwelcome wisdom had ceased moving. The bed sheets lie calm and dormant, but they had been replaced by something far more hideous. Hideous. A slow, rhythmic, rasping. Slow, rhythmic, rasping breath heaved and escaped from the thing below. I could imagine his chest rising and falling with each story easing and Garbled, breath. I shuddered and hope beyond all hope that it would leave, that it would leave without occurrence. House lay as it had the previous night in the thick morning of darkness. Silence prevailed, but all diverted breath of mine as yet unseen. Breath. I lay there terrified. I just wanted to see to go to leave me alone. What did it want? Then something unmistakably chilling transpired. It moved in a different way than before. When it threw itself around in the bottom bunk, it seemed unrestrained, without purpose, almost animalistic. That thing lying there in the darkness, that thing which seemed intent on Rising a young boy, calm and calmly and nonchalantly sat up, 
dared not say. I simply said one word over and over and over again. The pattern of events continued for weeks, if not months. Night after night, I would awaken to the sound of rustling sheets. Each time, I would scream so as to not provide this abomination with time to prod and feel for me. With each cry, the bed would shake violently, stopping with the arrival of my mother, who would spend the rest of the night in the bottom bunk, seemingly unaware of the sinister first torturing her son nightly. Along the way, I managed to uh, to feign an illness uh, a few times and come up with the other less than truthful reasons for sleeping in my parents' bed. But more often than not, I would be alone for the first few hours of each night in that place. Their room where the light sat from outside did not sit right alone with that thing. With time, you can become desensitized. De I got that right. I think so. Sorry, guys. I can't really read right. Uh, I'm not good at reading, but you guys knew that. Uh, Desensitized to almost anything, no matter how horrific. I had come to realize that, for whatever reason, this thing could not harm me when my mother was present. And I'm sure it was the same would have been said for my father, but as loving as he was, waking him from sleep was almost impossible. Waking me, on the other hand, was no trouble at all. Thanks to the nightmares. Chapter 4 Chapter 4 Anger Overload I'm liking the music though, the music is very, very good. Oh wait! 
This would be more terrifying if this one didn't have a mustache. So weird. It's like this shoulder has nothing but chills. Nothing but chills. It's like it's raising up. Like I feel it just raising up and like My greatest fears were realized in the winter. The days grew shorter and the longer nights merely provided this wretched with more opportunities. It was a difficult time for my family. My grandmother and my grandmother, a wonderfully kind, gentle woman, had deteriorated greatly since the death of my grandfather. My mother was trying her best to keep her to, to keep her in the community as long as possible. However, dementia is a cruel and degenerate illness, robbing a person of their memories one day at a time. Soon she recognized none of us, and it would become clear that she would be need to be moved from her house to a nursing home. Before she could be moved, my grandmother had a particularly difficult uh, had a particularly difficult few nights, and my mother decided that she would stay with her. As much as I love my grandmother and felt nothing but anguish at her illness. To this day, I feel guilty that my first thoughts were, were not of her, but what of my nightly visitor may do, should it become aware of my mother's absence, her presence being the one, being the one thing which I was sure, which I was sure, was protecting me from the full horror of this thing's reach. I rushed home with the school, from school that that day, and immediately reached, reached, then I don't know, bleh, whatever, skip that part. Mattress from the lower bunk. Removing all of, all of the slats and placing an old desk at the chest. An old placing old desk, a chest of drawers, and some chairs, which which we kept in the cupboard, where the bottom where the bottom bunk used to be. I told my father I was making an office, which he found adorable. 
but I would be damned if I give that thing a place to sleep for one more night. As darkness approached, I lay there knowing my mother was not in the house. I did not know what to do. My only impulse was to sneak into her jewelry box and take a small family crucifix which I had seen there before. While my family were not very religious, at that age I still believed in God and hoped that somehow this would protect me. Although fearful and anxious while gripping the crucifix under my pillow, tightly in one hand, sleep eventually came and I drifted off to sleep and I hoped that I would awaken in the morning without incidents. Unfortunately that night was the most terrifying of all. Chapter 5 Urban Explorer Alright guys, but Yeah Uh Whoops Hat. Well, if you guys seen that, by the way, you could just Follow me on Twitter for more updates But, thank you guys so much for watching Uh We are in a good spot right now. I feel like we're definitely in a good spot. Uh, we're definitely in a good spot. Uh, I think, cause I assume this game, I was planning to do this game by two chapters at least. So we're gonna stop it here. Uh, I hope you guys like this new setup. I like it a lot. I feel like I get to really communicate with you guys more and stuff. And I hope like my audio is better too because I also got like the Blue Yeti mic, the Blue Yeti mic, and so I figure that it would be a lot more easier, guys, for you guys to hear me and stuff like that. And I hope it doesn't pick up like the uh, the surround sound of like um, of the outside and the planes flying over and stuff like that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you got any ideas of any other games you want me to play. And, yeah, if you guys want to, um, I always upload a team time. It's not really a different time, uh, in particular, unless, like, I'm sick, but that's why you gotta follow me. Yeah, I will keep updates posted on there. But, ring that notification bell in case you don't really, in case you don't really care or something like that. Or I might post something extra one day. But I'm I'm dragging this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, I'm just just happy. Thank thank you guys so much. Adios.